the Super Multicoded Takumar 55mm f1.8, one of many fast lenses in my collection. The construction of the lens is pretty solid, it feels quite hefty, and weighing in at 260 grams for a small 50. There must be a lot of metal and glass in this tiny body, it does have a rubber focusing ring, but it's still very solid on the body. The bokeh is quite nice wide open. It has a tendency to make bubble bokeh with specular highlights and with items in the background, so that is nice. I am not sure if this lens is known for bubble bokeh, but looking at some of my photos, there are quite a lot of bubbles. Stopping the lens down creates pentagon shaped bokeh, which is something I haven't really noticed in my other lenses. I rarely shoot with my vintage lenses stopped down, so this is probably why. Paired for f1.8, I am using f1.8. Now something that I'm not sure of is a known feature, but in one of my photos there does appear to be a bit of swirly on the bokeh, especially in the background. I know of the Helios, you need a very complex background for it to swirl, so maybe the 55mm Takumar is also capable of doing swirly bokeh. The focusing distance on my copy allows you to focus really closely on your subject. I enjoy using this lens for portraits with the bubbles in the background creating a pleasing effect. As mentioned in an earlier video, I like interesting bokeh. I know some people love smooth bokeh where everything disappears. I like it as well, but I prefer bubbles and contrast in my bokeh. Personally, I enjoy using this lens on my Canon 6D. I would personally use it for portraits, as it feels like that was what it was made for. But I have to give the Super Multicoded Takumar 55mm f1.8 rating, I would give it an 8 out of 10. A solid small 55mm lens which can create bubble bokeh and even maybe swirly bokeh under the right conditions. A must have in your vintage lens kit.